Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly live Facebook training. Today I'm going to be talking about how do we go about selling and marketing coaching um, in a crisis to people who um, actually probably don't want coaching right now. So it's definitely not an easy time to be selling our services as a coach. Times are enormously uncertain. I don't need to spell it out to any of you. Um, and our potential clients are looking for the fastest possible solution to their immediate problems. And they have got pressures on them right now that we couldn't even have conceived of a few months ago. And are having to deal with um, supplying uh, pr personal protective gear and readying workplaces for reintegration into the workplaces if they're lucky enough to be, even be able to open up. Otherwise, they're having to cons consider whether or not to keep their businesses going, how to pay their staff. There are just so many new and different, enormous pressures that our clients were not having to deal with four months ago. I don't know about... Hi, Gabriella. Thanks for joining me. It's lovely to see you online. I don't know about any of you, but about two weeks ago, I actually experienced a three-day period. Oh, I can see Alison's online. Hi, Al. A three-day three period where I knew that my frontal lobe was not working. My brain had ground to a halt and I was unable to think. I then she just said to my husband, I'm getting out of the office because all I'm doing is I'm moving deck chairs on the Titanic. I was just taking paper and shifting it from one side of my desk to the other. And if any of you, I'm sure as coaches, have felt similarly, your clients are also feeling like this. We're actually, hi Michelle, we are all in this together and all of us are going through these patches where our brains are shutting down and people are, hello Belinda, I can see you, um, people are kind of demanding solutions um, and creative, innovative solutions from our clients and we are... Um, you know, where our brains are shut down. So how are we expected to coach him? But I think that's another topic for another day. So you might be feeling a little bit panicked at the moment because your business has taken a huge dip. And I have spoken to hundreds of coaches who are going through probably one of the worst patches in their coaching careers. And I'm actually glad that um, Michelle Lowe is on today because I'm going to um, speak to you um, in particular a little bit later. And don't be shy. I'm going to um, be saying really nice things. But... In fact, let me take Michelle as the example. Michelle has got um, an, an arm's length of qualifications. She's got master's degrees. She's got um, advanced qualifications um, in, in a whole wide variety of um, fields. And she really is um, a, an enormously broadly qualified coach, and, and kind of um, broader consultant in the human resources space and sphere. But going to your clients and giving them, you know, this list of qualifications and um, um, uh, what's your acronyms for, for various degrees, you, you're giving them to someone at the moment who actually can't make sense of them at all. And so what we need to do is be able to actually package them up properly into a neat little bundle that sounds like a solution that they can buy into. So, uh, as I was saying, it, it, you know, it's um, 
you, you might be feeling really, really worried and concerned right now because of the way that your business volume has dropped or you don't have enough business, you can't get out to see clients to um, bring business coming in. But remember that your clients are also possibly in a very similar situation. And in particular, for those of you who are working with clients in a sales type environment, environment. so I'm thinking perhaps um, just down the road from me, there are a whole lot of um, motor dealerships. You know, those sales salesmen how are they making a living and how must they be feeling and if you as a coach are struggling to sell maybe some of what you are learning some of the tools that you are learning now are things that you can share with clients who are in sales type situations who are still in lockdown and, and you know not able to sell so let me do a little bit of the um What's at the housekeeping? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan Hudson. I'm a business and marketing coach. And as you all know, I'm a dog loving tree hugging marketing coach. In fact, if you hear quite a loud jangling in the background, yesterday I lost one of my dogs in the forest and he's a little terrier. And so we have put two enormous, the one is the equivalent of a cowbell onto his collar so that it never happens again. So I do apologize if he decides to um, shake himself in the background and you hear this jangling just so that you know what it is. So I've had um, almost 20 years experience in the coaching industry and prior to that 10 years um, in the marketing um, and advertising industries and I specialize in helping coaches. Don't worry Gabriella, we were reunited. Fortunately he knows um, the forest where we walk and he knows the paths really well. And uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, it was a little bit stressful. Now at least, our, and he's deaf, so I couldn't call for him. So now at least I have created a means of being able to um, hear him in the background. Mina, I'm so thrilled to see you and I am delighted to welcome you to this Facebook Live. We've been friends for many, many years and um, we were actually having a conversation just before this live. So I'm really glad that you managed to hop on. Anyway, so as I was saying, the, um, let me get the market, marketing out the way. I specialize in helping coaches like you find and define your niche and to market your practices with, um, organically without spending a cent. And if you are interested, you can learn more about the way that I work with my clients um, on my website, which is www.nicheintelligence.co.za. If you stay with me until the end of this video, I'm going to post a link to a free five-day training that I did at the beginning of March on how to um, upshift and up level your marketing mojo for and specifically aimed as coaches um, I've um, put it into an email format so if you sign up for it every day you'll get a free training video training on email and it really really is very very practical I think a couple of the people uh, watching the video right now were um, on that training but back to the topic of the day so as much as we know on this side of the fence that coaching helps people think out of the box, um, create solutions that are actually kind of, you know, lurking inside them. It enables them to think objectively about situations, rise above situations, create wonderful um, pro proactive, um, you know, solutions. Selling coaching is still an intangible. And so we can't very well go to our clients with the message that um, I want to help you think out of the box right now because this is what you really need to be able to do. I want to help you think creatively around your current situation because I think they would boot you out of the office. And their minds are confused and we know from neuroscience the first rule is that confused, stressed minds say no. I can remember we did um, some massive um, home renovations about two and a half years ago. In fact, it was more of a rebuild from scratch. And I can tell you right now that I got to the point where I was so choice fatigued. I actually didn't want to see another tap, another tile, another color of paint I really just wanted 
somebody to put it all in front of me and we started planning that renovation 18 months before we actually even started doing it so you know I had mood boards and everything in place so a confused mind says no and right now flip are our clients confused if we think we are confused our clients are confused so you need to be able to change your messaging and i'm hoping that today's training is going to give you a couple of clues so let me give you a couple of examples and you may these may or may not resonate with you but they were just ones that came to the top of my head okay so for example if you could put out the consistent message that within 30 days i can help your team a, B, C. All right. And we know what the results and the outcomes of coaching are. We know that we can create greater team effectiveness, that um, better interpersonal relationships, more effective um, teams that work more effectively together. We're going to have teams actually where new ground rules are going to have to be set because they're going to be working in split situations where some of them have gone back to work and some of them will be working from home. Um, that's an amazing solution to be able to package up and, and go and be able to offer a client how to navigate and negotiate um, with um, good mental health this new team dynamic that um, the, this gradual rephasing in of business is going to uh, be presenting the professional world with. Um, another thing that you could uh, say is by the end of your first coaching session with me, um, ABC or you will have a name you will experience ABC and you will be in such and such a um, frame of mind you know we've got all these tools like um, uh, heart math and um, you know some of us work with heart rate variability and um, those of us who work somatically with the body helping our clients we do actually have the tools and the knowledge to be able be able to help our clients reintegrate their frontal lobes and get into the frame of mind where they can find Function. And every company needs functioning employees. And coaching, we've got the tools and the ability as coaches to be able to help our clients get into a functional state. So that's the very first thing that we can offer. Um, something else that you could say is clients experience XYZ results or outcomes as a result of working with me over a 90 day period or over 12 coaching sessions or over six coaching sessions. And you can back this up with social proof or testimonials from previous clients that you've worked with and then go into a little bit of detail, give them a couple of points about how you go about delivering those very results. But you need to get really, really clear on, pardon me, what your client's needs, wants, and requirements are. So here's an example from my own practice, okay? So I, I specialize in working with coaches, and I know that my coaching clients and colleagues and peers desperately need more business. They need to learn how to market themselves and how to get in front of the right people and to close deals. So those are my clients' needs. My clients want a solution to help them get clients easily and effectively. And they also want to spend as little of their time and effort as possible in setting up the systems and the solutions to enable them to do this. And at the same time, they don't want to feel salesy or pushy while they're doing it. Finally, my clients' requirements are a system, a step-by-step -step system that will progressively get them to the point where the result will, is that they will get in front of their potential or ideal clients, the right people, and I need, they require a safe when I say safe, there's a lot of, for me, the, the, the word safe also embodies an authentic step-by-step -step process that guarantees results. Because not everybody wants to be online. Um, not everybody's comfortable in the new online world. Not everybody's comfortable doing things like, you know, Facebook live videos and five-day trainings on, you know, online live trainings, all that kind of stuff. 
but there are loads of alternatives. I promise you, I have got every trick up my sleeve. And if you do want to have a chat to me about it, please feel free to message me after, after, afterwards. And so the course that I've created is does tries to do this, tries to give my clients practical, customized, step-by-step -step processes to help them get into the right frame of mind and feel the confidence to get in front of the clients that they really need to see. But part of, and I know you might be sitting there saying, but I'm a coach, I don't train, okay? Coaching underpins the approach that I use when I work with my clients because remember I'm also working around their mindsets and around their negative attitudes towards this whole marketing and sales monster that just hangs over your heads like the sort of Damocles the whole time. So I'm selling a solution and my question to you is Taking what you know and the results that you are able to deliver with your clients, what solution can you sell right now that meets your clients' needs, wants, and requirements? So your first process is defining their needs, wants, and requirements. And your second process is then mapping the solution over that and starting to get consistent about how you send out messaging around that. One of the things that research tells us about the coaching industry is that coaches only actually spend about 40% of their working time coaching. So it's safe to assume that the balance of that time is spent on things like admin, um, pre-session preparation, post-coaching post um, reflection, attending training sessions, hopefully doing coach supervision um, to upskill themselves, um, and then also trying to market their practices and make sales um, and, and perhaps um, a mixture of also um, coaching, training and facilitation work as part of the, the remaining 60%. And in fact, just yesterday, I had a conversation with a client of mine who wanted to, um, who was very tempted by a course that she had seen online. And it looks like a really, really nice course. Um, it would teach her photographic skills. So she would be able to immediately create content that she could, you know, put out onto her social media feed. Um, now, these people had already done a free training. And in my opinion, I think that the skills that they had imparted in that free training were enough for us to actually take and work with at that level and if there was anything else we needed to polish up well there's always youtube you know and you can youtube you can find anything on youtube anyway my clients is actually um another part of this course and it was um it, it was it was about a six thousand rand course my client um, was also working on um, the, um, your brand and my client's actually done that work. She's actually done the most fabulous work with a branding expert and she's already got 99% um, of it in place. It's now about rolling the brand out and getting the brand to a recognized status. So I actually had to almost shout at her in capital letters to say, <laughs> Stop focusing on doing another course and, and filling what you perceive to be a need and rather focus on what you do have, what you do know and putting that out there. Stop using what you think you don't know as an excuse for not putting your business out there. Start somewhere. And she is she has operated at super senior levels in multinational, in huge organizations, been responsible for like huge, but just budgets that would blow your mind. I mean, this is somebody who has got everything to offer her clients. She at, at just such a senior level and yet has is struggling with so much self-doubt. And I think maybe even, you know, that's another topic for another day is the, the whole self-doubt and imposter syndrome. Um, but we, we need to stop 
focusing on doing another course and using that as an excuse and I shouldn't be saying this because I sell a course myself but using that as an excuse to stop us from getting the message out there we've got to start taking action now and um, the, the, the important thing is that the more action we take now the more momentum we build up in one of my previous videos I spoke about how we know with um, neuroscience that the more we repeat something, the more we lay down um, uh, these uh, neural pathways, strong neural pathways. And in fact, I was watching a lovely um, interview earlier today where um, this neuroscientist was talking about um, how we default to the things that we find easiest and most comfortable and these would be the the things that are that sit along what they call our neural superhighways or autobahns and then there might be other things that sit along our main roads and then we've got our um, off-track bicycle paths and um, marketing and selling our coaching practices for coaches is our off-track bicycle paths but with repetition we build those bicycle tracks into main roads and thoroughfares and eventually they become super highways but it's about finding the right track for you it's about and that's the whole authenticity side of things it's about finding the path that is correct for you so that you can repeat it over and over and over again and on the flip side of this it's about finding the right message for you to send out to your clients about the solution that you offer and repeatedly sending out the same message again and again and again so that you get known as the go-to person for that particular solution or for delivering that particular result. I'd also um, like to encourage you to go back and watch two videos that I did um, earlier this year and I'll drop the links to them um, if you just give me five minutes after this video is finished I'll drop the links to them um, in the intro to this video um, but they were on the um, customer journey that uh, the neuromarketing has identified in taking your customer from being a brand agnostic so that's somebody who's never even heard about you before to being a brand um, activist, so somebody who actually does the marketing for you through your word of mouth referrals. And we know that over 70% of our business as coaches comes from word of mouth referrals. So it's a journey that we really do want to be able to take our potential clients on. And then I'll also leave another um, a link to another video where I give you specific steps that you can follow um, at every stage along the way to keep that whole customer relationship warm and to get them from a complete brand agnostic to somebody who is now contacting you and wants to do business with you because they have recognized um, they've heard your message and they've recognized your expertise and the fact that um, you're the person who offers the solution that they most need. So um, that'll give you a nice step-by-step -step system that you can follow um, and will, you know, will bring you results if you follow it. So that's the end of what I have for you today. I hope it's been practical and um, I hope that um, you've learned plenty. I'm going to be talking next week about how you can structure your coaching practice and identify and mobilize different assets that you may not have realized that you had so that we can do the job that we've spoken about today of shifting your message using stuff that you've already got and already created and um, giving you actual tangible assets that you can then share with your clients um, as part of the evidence process of showing them that you can deliver the results, the solution to um, that they're looking for. So I do hope that you'll be able to join me. Let me just go through the comments to make sure that I haven't missed any questions. Oh, for some reason, it's not allowing me to do so. But I did so keep half an eye on, um, and it looks like it's frozen. Oh my goodness.
Can you still see me? Somebody give me a love. Let me know that I'm still working. Well, hopefully it froze after I finished and I won't have to rebroadcast. But if you are still on and watching, thank you so much. I'm going to close off now and I will see you next week. Okay then. Bye.